Well, when we return to Earth, we have to train hard to recover fully the conditioning of our muscles because here on, on the space station, because we are weightless, uh, we tend to lose muscle mass and muscle strength. Although, to counteract that, we actually work out quite hard every day for about two hours, two hours and a half. Over. Well, we train really hard on many things. We train for several years. Uh, we train about the systems of the space station, about the experiments that we will perform, and of course we train a lot on the Soyuz capsule, which is the Russian vehicles that actually bring us to orbit and back. And of course launch and landing are the most difficult and dynamic and also dangerous phases. So a lot of training is devoted to that. And then of course we also train for spacewalks and for flying. We like to say that flying, man uh, operating the robotic arm of the space station. Over. This is actually my first flight into space, so I experienced launch one time, and I can tell you it was the happiest day and moment of my life. Over. So we try to be very respectful of each other and of each other's opinions, and uh, you know to respect each other's privacy and uh, what each one of us likes to do, which we like to give each other the space that we need so that we avoid conflicts and arguments. And if we do something to a little something, we can try you know, to, to talk about it and then make sure that we laugh about it. Unfortunately, we don't have fresh fruits and vegetables up here. Only once in a while, when there is a new cargo vehicle that arrives, there might be some fresh fruits in there. And uh, we had recently some apples and oranges when Dragon arrived last month. But usually, we have them in, in pouches so they are actually um, treated uh, so that we can store them long term and they come in pouches and they are ready to eat with a spoon. Over. Probably the, the, mo the thing that I like the most were well, two things. One is to watch the earth go by, you know, the ocean and the continent and they, you know, kind of pass by and we look towards earth from our cupola to the window towards earth here on the space And then the other thing that I enjoy a lot is floating. Floating is a lot of fun, it's a great sensation, and I just love it. Over. Um, I can stay in space for about 200 days total, although I will leave a little bit earlier than that, and the limit is due to my spaceship, the Soyuz. Uh, let's say that the guarantee on the Soyuz is about 200 days of exposure to the space environment. Over. Through a life science, so working on cell cultures, on tissues, or very often on the human body, so we astronauts are actually the subjects of the experiments that we perform. Over. You know, it is hard to say. I like to say that it is not me who chose space as a profession, but it's more like space who chose me, because I was always fascinated by space and flying space and exploring space since I was a very young child in elementary school, like many of you say. Um, I love science fiction movies and books. I like reading about uh, astronomy and planets and stars. Zero time zone is the time zone of Greenwich near London. And it was chosen because it was uh, sort of halfway between the United States and Russia. And of course the space station is international and the two biggest partners are the United States and Russia. Of course I'm a European. So Europe is also a contributor to the space station, and we are lucky in Europe because we are only one, one hour ahead. So when I call my friend early, it's about the same time as here on board. And we go to sleep when our clocks say that it's time to sleep, just like you. Over.